Unbounce, Old Colony Players is celebrating 50 years. And this summer, you can see the production from this day forward in Valdez, Carolina. It's a historic uh, outdoor drama. Uh, we have Kim Kozart K here to tell us all about it. You're the music director. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks for being here tonight. We Absolutely. appreciate you coming down. So right? appreciate it. Are you from the Valdez area? Or you... I'm from Drexel. Drexel, Drexel okay. Drexel Furniture. Yeah, that's my hometown. Ah, fantastic. Yeah. Right, tell us about the storyline of this production. Well, it follows the Waldensians um, actually from the late 1600s up until um, the late 1800s. Okay. And so the first act takes place when they were really, really being persecuted for the religious beliefs. And um, some died at the stake. That's shown in the show, mm -hmm. uh, many battle scenes. And then in the second act, it shows them coming to the Valdez area. They could not um, uh, farm the area because it was so rocky. Right. And so they had to learn a trade, which was the mill trade, the textile trade. And they were still, it's just the hardship of these people who founded Valdez. And it's a really, really wonderful, beautiful story. And a North Carolina connection in their story as well, correct? Absolutely. Um, many of the textiles began in that that era of 1893. Wonderful music that's still celebrated, mostly in French and Patois, mm -hmm. uh, the French dialect. And um, many, many Waldensians, their families are still in the Valdez area today who mm -hmm. live there. All right, now you guys are uh, opening coming up uh, this weekend, correct? That's right. And uh, tell us a little bit about what the uh, audience is going to take away. What, if people are going for the first time and never seen anything like this, what, what, what can they uh, expect? Well, first of all, it's in a beautiful, beautiful outdoor setting in the heart of Valdez. And um, the first act, like I said, has lots of pageantry, lots of music, lots of battle scenes live right in front of you. Wow. Yeah. And then the second act really shows more about the, the Waldensians getting to know the Conley Springers. Some of the Conley Springers who lived here in Valdez didn't want them to come. There's a real true story that somebody prayed that they would die on the ship on the way over, the, simp the, the ship would sink. Right. Um, but that's just because they didn't know who they were. So I think it's a real reflection about tolerance, um, patience, immigration, many of the things that we have today. And as far as age groups, what can come, you know, you can feel safe in saying, I would say, uh, if you're a child, feel safe with live battle scenes and gunshot scenes. I would right. say, you know, 8 to 10 on up to senior adult yeah. would really appreciate this story, which is all true. Yeah, it's probably, all pr true. probably don't want any babies out there because no. you said it gets pretty loud out it there, It gets right? pretty loud, it? and, and I, will, I don't think you would want that. But okay. uh, please, you can spend a whole weekend with us. You know, we have Friday night on Main, which is absolutely free, uh, antique cars, um, live concerts. It's a production. It's a, it's, it's a before, whole thing. It's a and then there's the winery, there's yes. the winery, there's the Waldensian Museum, there's a Trail of Faith, and then come see the show on Saturday night. Please just spend the weekend with us because it really is a celebration of the people of that area. You want to tell us a little bit about uh, your cast and the people who make up the production team? Well, my husband and I, I was in the show, actually, this dates me quite a bit, but I was in the show when I was in ninth grade. Wow, okay. So this is my fourth time with the show. Um, we, uh, because of my association with it, we came in from Florida, so we are, we're hired as director and music director. Everybody else, local talent. Hickory, um, Conover, Newton, Valdez, Morganton, Drexel, all wow, from Wow, that whole there. area, right around there. That, that, that whole area. And yeah. there are people who really believe in the story so much that they wanted to be a part of it year after year after year. All right, well, let's put up the information. You can see this uh, from day uh, from this day forward, Friday, July 14th through Saturday, August 12th. It's at Fred B. Cranford Amphitheater. Uh, that's located at 401 Church Street, Northwest in Valdez, North Carolina. Tickets range between $14 and $18. Call the number on your screen for tickets. For more information, you can log on to WBTV.com. Look in the Web Extra section right there on the home page. And it is, it is coming up, and uh, you, you guys are excited about this, I'm We're sure. very excited. And I just want to make a note that Fred Cranford, who was the playwright, he's also a a Burke County guy. Okay. All right. Yeah. So there's another connection too. Anybody that's watching right now, you give them one sentence to tell them why they should come out and see this. Because it, it's history, it's about your folks, and it's going to really teach you a lesson about all the things that we talked about. You're really going to have fun. Music, pageantry, dance, authentic costumes, the whole works. You sold and me. it's live. Yeah, yeah, you sold me on that. Thank <laughs> you so much for being here. We appreciate you coming on WBTV News on Bounce. Let's get back to our sound off, Charlotte.